She apparently was the forgotten woman of NYCHA until construction workers made a terrible discovery. They saw the woman's skeleton in her bedroom while working on the top floor at South Jamaica Houses. Yeah, we are learning tonight she may have been dead nearly two years. Pix 11's Mary Murphy joining us now with more details. Mary. Such a sad story. The woman's name was Marilyn McMichael and her skeleton was found on April 26th. She had two foster sisters who tried to report her missing back in January, but they say nobody seemed to care. Construction workers are tearing up the road outside South Jamaica houses on 160th Street. But not too many people know about the discovery made inside the building on April 26th. I just heard it was a woman found in her bed. She was found in her bed upstairs on the seventh floor. Her name was Marilyn McMichael and she was 54 years old. Apparently her windows were open, so the men on the scaffolding saw her in her bed, dead, skeletal form. Simone Best Jones and Sharman McElrith are foster sisters who grew up with Marilyn McMichael, known as May, in a loving family. They said May developed emotional problems over the years and called them after the first wave of the pandemic in 2020. She wanted me to take her to the hospital. She sounded a little manic and I was trying to explain to her they're not accepting people at the hospitals. The sisters say they tried knocking on May's door over the next year. We would never get her to come to the door. Was that unusual or had she done it before? That was not unusual for May. They say they went to the NYCHA office in South Jamaica houses in January to report her missing. They told us that she hadn't paid rent in over a year. They said that my parents were on the emergency card and I let them know that both of them have been dead for over 20 years. The sisters claim NYCHA personnel and the NYPD cop didn't show much empathy, but eventually took them to the seventh floor and tried to use a master key on McMichael's door. It didn't work. And they never tried again. They said they would. They said they had an investigator that would find her. Marilyn McMichael's sisters told us that three months after they tried to file a missing persons report here at the NYCHA offices at South Jamaica Houses, they received terrible news from their sister's neighbor. Decompose in an apartment. You treat a dog better than that. PIX11 News paid a visit to the basement NYCHA office. Do you know why they didn't check for three months? When we asked to speak with a supervisor, the NYCHA press office only sent a brief response to my email, quote, please reach out to NYPD for more information as this is a police matter. The sisters say multiple people need to answer for what happened. She was treated to me less than human. So what? She lived in public housing. It should have made a difference. Police told us when they entered McMichael's apartment on April 26th, they noticed the calendar had not been used since August 2020. It was almost frozen in time. The medical examiner had to use x-rays to identify the woman's remains.